Morning guys, another video from Adam at PAGN here. Today we're over at um, RGS Motorsport in Northamptonshire with the GR Yaris. We're going to do some work with Piper Cross today. Um, it's been a long old process for Piper Cross to get an intake released for the GR Yaris. There's been a, a lot of complications and, and basically testing that they've done is struggle to see power gains on a stock engine. Um, they've tried some other aftermarket intakes and they're also seeing the same thing despite what figures say. So what we're doing is, is we're getting ours on the dyno again we've got a lot of tweaks with us and we're going through the different kind of processes to see if we can find a gain on a stock engine what we don't want to be doing is releasing an intake that isn't seeing a gain and we want to be honest with you with what we are doing um, at Piper Cross so we're gonna have a good day we've got the GI Yaris getting set up at the moment lots going on we've got the standard filter in there for our standard run um, and then we can we can see how it performs we'll keep you guys entertained we'll show you some clips and uh, we'll see how it goes So whilst Warren at Piper Cross is just uh, chopping and changing lots of components out on the intake there, I thought I'd put you to one side and take a look at one of the pieces. So this is um, basically 3D printed. This is what they're using to try different sections and, and different kind of airflow ways. Um, so I thought I'd just pull it out. As you can see, completely plastic at the moment. And it's showing you like the chamfered edge there, which will be increasing the airflow as it comes in from the filter going into the hard pipe there. But it's just trying different combinations, chopping and changing, and all that hard work that's going into building a great, great, great intake. So it's been a few days since we've been at the dyno and we've managed to get back to the office. Piper Cross have analysed all the results and we've had a special guest come over. We've got James from the performance company, director of Piper Cross, um, and he's going to run through the results there and uh, give us a bit of information on what we found. Yeah, so 
the Yaris has been a challenging kit really from start to finish. We did a lot of development and a lot of testing of other comparative kits that are on the market. And a lot of kits are saying they made power and we didn't find that on a lot of our back-to-back -back testing. And it's all really down to uh, the increase in airflow on a stock vehicle and a stock ECU automatically pulls back the torque and the boost. So our first kit we developed was so free flowing, but we lost a lot of torque because the, the engine management pulled back boost, retarded timing, and we just didn't get the gain we wanted to see. So we had to go back to the drawing board really, because we want our kit to be able to work on stock cars, but also then tuned vehicles. The gain on, gains on tuned vehicles will always be better, but on a stock vehicle, it still needs to work and you can't have this big dip in torque in the mid range, which so other, so many other kits on the market have. With a bit of a change, change in the heat shield, change in the way the inlet works and the air passes the mass sensor, we managed to gain, well, a maximum gain of 11 horsepower in mid range, 3,250 RPM. That's exactly where you want it. That's that exactly right. where you want it, right in the middle of the rev range. Oh, yeah. And 18 pound foot of torque. 18 pound foot of torque is a noticeable increase yeah. of 3,200 RPM. And that carries all the way through to past four and a half thousand of a nice gain. But throughout the entire rev range, there's an increase in power and torque on a stock car. Now, once these cars are tuned, um, whether that's through a tuning box or whether that's through uh, Cyvex management, the gains could be much, much more because you can set the boost to work with the uh, increased flow. So we're really pleased with this kit now that it works both on stock vehicles and tuned. Amazing. It sounds, it sounds great, really. Well, it's interesting yeah. comparison that you had too much airflow in the beginning and the stock ECU couldn't deal with it. That's, it's crazy. It's, it's good that you've done the dyno runes to, to prove that and you know people can see it in the video. That's, that's really good. A lot of development has gone into this kit. The car, uh, your car, has spent so much time on the dyno. Yeah. And, and it's needed to really get the information. It's just a worry now when these kits come to market and you're competing with other kits that say they make X amount of power. We, we just haven't found we that just on the see it. And you tried a few competitors there, and to be fair, I've seen it in the forums as well, people reporting they're not getting the gains or whether they're bogging down. Um, and it's good to see that PiperQuest, instead of rushing to the market with this, are releasing a, you know, a product they've tried and tested before they do so. So it's just proving they are about the gains, they are proving about the quality and not just sales. It's amazing, really. I can't wait to get it on the car and, and see a finalized product. Get it back on track, looking forward to it. Yeah. Right, so cheers guys. So please do like, comment, subscribe. And if you've got an intake on your car, do let us know. We hope you're holding out for the Piper Cross. It really is going to be a great intake. Um, keep an eye on our channel and we'll release it on here as soon as we've got any information.